Hi guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a long-awaited video. This is my fenugreek hair a natural remedy for hair loss. I did not invent this or come up with it. I've only tried it and it worked for me. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dermatologist or anything like that. I simply am just sharing my experience. So if you wanna hear more about my hair journey, go and watch my previous video, but this is going to just be all about the recipe. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, here's the start of the show. This is what it looks like. This is what you're getting into. <laughs> We're going to make this together. It's super easy, but I will show you exactly what I do. All that's in here are fenugreek seeds and water. Fenugreek has actually been used for hair growth dating back like hundreds of years. It actually contains a hormone, I will put the name on the screen here, that stimulates hair growth naturally. So Let's start off with our ingredients. So I am using eight ounces of fenugreek seeds. I just got these off Amazon, but I usually get them from the Indian store. They're actually cheaper there. I ended up using four cups of water because the seeds do soak up a lot of it. They ended up soaking up about two cups and I ended up with two cups of the actual water to use in my spray bottle. I do want to mention that up until this point, I have been completely just eyeballing this recipe, but I wanted to give you guys some measurements. So this was a really good ratio, but if you eyeball it, you can't mess it up. Just make sure that the seeds are totally covered. And if you do not end up with enough water after you've soaked them, then just make sure to re-soak them and it will work just fine. You're gonna cover it with foil and let it sit for eight hours. Good morning, you guys. So we are going to check on our seeds now. All you're gonna need today is your spray bottle, your same measuring cup that you used yesterday, and a mesh strainer, something that the seeds won't go through. This is what the seeds look like eight hours later and maybe a little bit longer because I put them in early for filming sake, but you are going to just pour it straight into the strainer and actually using a big mixing bowl like this was really helpful and made the process a lot easier. And you can see the water has changed color and that has all the good nutrients and that hormone that I was talking about to really help your hair regrow and hopefully help you get through this, um, you know, hair loss journey. And I know that it's really hard. So if you're going through that right now, just know you're not alone. Feel free to message me if you ever just want to talk to somebody about it. Um, I'm always here. So message me on Instagram and we can chat, but I'm basically just making sure that all the water is out and I ended up with a lot. So I'm pretty excited about that and you're gonna wanna store this in the fridge. And it should last you about a month or so. Mine has lasted me multiple months. Just from keeping it in the fridge, it stays good, but since there's no preservatives, just make sure you check on it and make sure that there's no mold or weird smell or anything like that. and here is your final product how easy was that and it only cost you a couple of bucks i took this extra and put it in another spray bottle that i had and i'm just going to quickly show you how i actually use this so i brush my hair first using my tangle teaser which is super gentle on my hair i absolutely love it i also love the wet brush so I like to spray it pretty close to my scalp just to kind of keep the mess contained. I don't like to get it all over the bathroom since it is a more natural product. It can get pretty sticky, so I keep it contained in the sink. I just take my fingers and kind of rub it in, and I especially focus it on my, you know, more sparse areas around my hairline and on my two sides. And then I just wash it out after about 10-15 minutes, and I use this every single time that I wash my hair, which is usually three days a week. I do want to say that consistency was key with this product. I used it for about a month before I started seeing actual results, which was my hair stopped shedding and I started seeing little baby hairs, which gave me a lot of hope and I have been using it ever since and it's been over a year. So consistency is key and I hope that this works for you. Okay, now that you know the recipe, I just wanted to share a couple more things. So. Part of my hair routine is also washing my hair, obviously. And this is what I use. It is the Maple Holistic Special Formula Argon Shampoo. It looks like this. And this is sulfate-free, 
cruelty free and vegan and it is very non-irritating very gentle in my opinion made my hair shed less i don't know if that was just me thinking that or if it really was this because i started using this a little bit before that and i noticed when i was losing a lot of hair that certain shampoos made my hair shed more so this made it shed a little less <laughs> but if you are struggling with your hair right now it's a little bit more lightweight get you can get it on amazon it's like nine bucks I wouldn't recommend the conditioner, but that was just my experience. If you have any conditioner recommendations, please let me know. I don't have one that I love right now in the shower. We just have like a Pantene one. Once a week, I will condition my ends, but I never condition up here because I have pretty fine hair and I always have. So I just am pretty careful and use conditioner sparingly. I just wanted to mention that that is what I do when I wash my hair. I also use a wet brush or a tangle teaser. And those have been my favorites for years and years. I haven't used any other hairbrushes in forever. So those get my tangles out pretty easily. I hope that if you're watching this video that it helped you in some way, whether it gave you hope or just like camaraderie and feeling like someone else is going through the same thing, then even that is good enough for me. I like hearing other people's stories, you know, of what they've tried or if they try this, like if they have success, I like to hear that. So. Um, feel free to message me on Instagram or here um, in the comments. One last thing that I wanted to run by you is what you want to see in the future. So I know that a lot of people are here for this hair recipe and I want to continue to expand on that. So if you have any questions about this recipe, this video, my last video, um, if you have any requests for other things you would like to see or if you just would like to see maybe like a day in the life video every once in a while and at the end of those i can kind of like sit down and talk a little bit about my story i could talk about my hair journey my hair loss i can talk about my kidney transplant i could talk about anything else that you want to hear about so let me know if you think that's a good idea thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe it really makes me happy to have this little community here and i would love to have you and you will get to see my other videos if that's something that you're interested in. So subscribe. I'll see you soon. Let me know what you want to see. Bye, guys.